Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment. Think about AMC and Ape. In this video, we are going to be looking at how Ape is illegally routed off of the market. We're not going to be seeing how people are actually taking advantage of Ape right now as we saw a 7.5 million share buy order coming in for Ape. And then we're also going to be looking more in the FTX scandal with Citadel in terms of more links and connection and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to start off with the chart for AMC and Ape. Now, looking at AMC first, again, this is what we're talking about. We are right now consolidating in between the zone of 703 and 762. And this is where we're bouncing off between right now. And again, it's quite pivotal in the sense of whatever zone it looks like we're breaking out of now, that is the general direction of where we're going to be going. Essentially, if we can break above the 772 and 762 zone, we're going to see the price continuously going up and again, testing coming in at that 824 level. However, if we see it actually break below, and when I talk about break below, I don't mean the price just going below it. I mean, actually closing and again, see resistance in terms of bouncing back there and break below that. Then we're going to start probably see the price dropping in towards that 623 level. But so far, it seems like whilst there are heavy sellers, we can see from the candlesticks, again, no wicks upward, essentially showing that there is heavy sellers, buyers can't really take momentum, but they're not necessarily losing because of the fact we are buying it up here. But again, it seems like we're just consolidating and you're just waiting on a catalyst to see where the price is, of course, breaking out of. So far for AMC, you know, we had a volume today, a very high volume, as you guys can see in terms of normally, and yet the price still maintained. We're only down 2.69. So again, it's still looking very well. If we take a look at Ape now, of course, Ape is a different story. And again, we're going to be talking more about Ape later and in terms of where I think the potential lowest point for Ape is. So Ape is down another 7.45% today. We are at 0.97 we went to the low all the way at 0.9 now we have talked about ape and again you guys can see the volume coming in here which is massive this is the third highest volume from ape basically third to the first two days that ape was of course on the market we're in the oversold territory as well and so we're definitely and should be seeing buyers coming back in now now we already are seeing buyers which again like i said we'll be showing later on in the video and for Ape, there's many reasons for why, of course, Ape is going down. Now, I've already said it in multiple videos. Again, I don't want to go too much into it. It'll be wasting your time. But for the people who are new, essentially, they need to bring Ape down because hedge funds need to buy Ape because they need to cover their shares. And they also don't want to make sure AMC can raise enough money to, of course, recover fundamentally. There are, of course, other many reasons, but this is just a TLDR for everyone. Um, and so that is the main reason for why Ape is going down. But let's take a look at some of the news. So the first thing we're looking at is this. The looks of it with Ape not moving at all, even with the market, it seems like they're going to take the legal route before paying up because they know they are fact. They have no choice. Possible the market comes crashing down hard and they use that all that money to pay up on Ape. And so then it was a reply with, they have been on the legal route since Ape was launched. They welcomed Ape with their self-reported 43 million FTDs and which have cleared with no justifying price actions. Retail's ownership of Ape has reportedly been about 99.9% .9 all along, but the price keeps going down, which is in regards to firstly, we can obviously see the overall trend of the price, which again, I've shown you guys here, even in terms of support and resistance. And then the next picture is of course showing the ownership, which talks about other. Now the other is referring to retail investors, people like you and me, looking at 99.9%. .9 and so when you look at this and you see that the accordingly, Back during, you know, when Ape was dropping, they had 43 million FTDs when it was removed off the list saying that they supposedly cover it. We didn't actually see the price recover. And so when you look at it and understand it, you see the price. When you first look at the price dropping down all the way to this level coming in of this low, it makes sense in the sense that because there was 43 million FTDs, at least in the open eye, the public eyes, that it made sense for the price to drop. However, what didn't make sense was if the supposed 43 million FTDs were to be covered, then theoretically we should actually be seeing the price going back to its original level before we got shorted. But that was of course not the case as we continue to see the price going down further and further. And so that is of course what we're talking about in terms of how they're routing their orders off and why they're of course doing so. If we take a look, so this is actually 7.5 million share trade at $1. Smart money is taking advantage of the cheap eight prices. Buyers willing to pay a premium even to get so many apes 
Wonder who sell it is Shorts City Group. Look how price dropped right back down after that trade with multiple trades at 0 0.90717 seconds later. Again, a screenshot coming in, as you guys can see, at this $1 mark, we had 7.5 billion shares. But after that, again, we just see it going lower prices. And so what we're seeing right now is, of course, people do want eight shares. Now, it seems like, and this is something that we have always highlighted, is that because of the creation of synthetics, because of the short pressure, there is always, in terms of ratio, going to be more short pressure than is buy pressure. Because when we are buying synthetic shares, we're actually not even creating real buy pressure. And so we're always going to be faced with a problem that there is going to be more short pressure than there is buy pressure. And so that is, of course, the sad truth for Ape. And that is one of the biggest reasons for why we're seeing Ape dropping. But when you understand this, and you see that there are people buying to ape you understand that people price of ape dropping now again i do want to say that this is not financial advice so do take what i've said of some you should do your own due diligence and research but when you see a 7.5 million share order coming in you understand that right now in the market people are more than willing to actually buy into ape the price dropping is done by shorting rather than people getting rid of their shares and dropping the price like that and so you understand what is really happening if we take a look and revisit this this is something we have talked about ages ago and again if you guys want to make sure you keep up to date feel free to follow avi and feel free to click the subscribe to this channel but essentially it's talking about two price target he gave which is one dollars and eleven and 0 0.88 and the reason why he said this is because if amc is to sell all 4.5 billion ape to raise 5 billion they will need an average price of one dollars and eleven if they are to sell all 4.5 billion ape to raise 4 billion for the 2026 and 2027 debt obligation amc will have to sell at an average price of 0 0.88 and because of that he then figured out that the price we could be seeing 0 0.11 and 0 0.88. So far, we have seen 1.11, and now we're going to be seeing 0 0.88. We're already just 0 0.02 off as we touch a low of 0 0.9. And so potentially, when we do potentially hit that 0 0.88 level, we may be seeing at the price, of course, bouncing. Now, that is not to say that it will 100% bounce, but it would make sense if we take into the mathematical calculations into consideration. However, we do have to bear in mind that hedge funds do not care if ape stays at 0 0.8 what they want is the price to go as low as possible because of the fact they are in need of ape shares and they have to buy more uh, as many ape shares as they can but they will not be able to they will not be able to do so if ape is expensive and they will have they, they don't want to pay that much money that's why they bring the share price of ape down if we take a look at this this is actually the link so this is the african ftx is hidden in nigeria the same nigeria scandal citadel used to park in singapore then the uk on the hidden road partners that's connection back to citadel and bny Mellon. we apes are uncovering and the corruption by ourselves essentially again guys like i said all of these tweets will be in the description if you guys want a more detailed look into this essentially it's obviously talking about the links during um the particular crypto fund in africa and again then it was a reply with, this connects the whole thing. If you start my first tweet with your info, we know the countries and major firms who connect Citadel to the C CBDC and how they're using Crypto Institute infinite liquidity around the world. And so of course, there is gonna be more potential DD coming out, but this is of course a massive thing. And again, this is just, the ways we have to try in order to just expose more truth into the world to make sure everyone understands what is happening. Now, this is something that is being said. So this is said that what if I told you the Fed generated this fake bear market on purpose with Wall Street using the Fed rate hikes as an excuse to short retail into oblivion on purpose to shake us. But it's failing daily. I believe it's assistant wide colluding with banks at Fed, etc. Would you believe me? Comment down below, guys. Do you believe him? Do you believe that this was, of course, colluded in order to bring down retail? Again, I do think that there is tactics and there are tactics where hedge funds use shorting to bring the price down to scare people to sell their shares because they are then are willing to be buying the shares at an even lower price so that they can profit as a hedge fund and so when we look at this maybe this is something that they are doing again like i said guys comment down below what you guys think now more on in terms of what we're looking at firstly is this 
If they let Ape run up, AMC can issue more dividend shares and generate liquidity to pay down debt slash invest in the business, which digs the SHF's hole even deeper. They're manipulating Ape to hold both tickets back because that's where all the risk is. And again, this is highlighting in terms of what we talked about of why people are wanting to Ape price to go down and why people are putting the pressure they are on Ape. And it's because of the fact that Ape is a pivotal factor for how AMC can leverage themselves against hedge funds. And finally, this is from Peter Hahn who talked about, look, Ape is not going to be delisted. If it is a preferred share of AMC, it is fully convertible to AMC if AA requests and shareholders agree. Shorts are desperate for AMC shares. They are trashing Ape to get retail to sell Ape to them so that they can buy real Ape way cheaper. And I definitely do agree with that. I think that is one of the tactics they're using because they have done this with other shares in the past before. And comment down below what you guys think about that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys didn't, make sure to press the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.